It is officially a Category 2 right now. There was a notice mm -hmm. coming out from the National Hurricane Center that, that sparked a Category 3 comment, but uh, it is officially Category 2, holding with 110 mile per hour winds. But yeah. it, like we said, it doesn't change the impacts no. barely at all. It really doesn't. And it just goes to show you they're trying to get information out really fast, and a tweet went out from National Hurricane Center that just had one five mile per hour yes. off, and it ended up everyone got the alert. It even changed in our system, but now it's back, so it's a Category 2 storm. We actually have some brand new winds to share with you. Apparently, James Island saw a 74 mile per hour gust, so that is officially hurricane force. Winya Bay, South Carolina, 78, and Charleston Harbor, a 78 mile per hour gust, so officially Incredible. hurricane strength. It is, and it's not surprising to see that with how close this system mm -hmm. is to shore, we see the strongest wind and rain within that eye wall, just barely outside that center circulation, and it is nearly 10 to 15 miles off the coast. Yeah, this is closer than that center track actually projects it to be. Um, but the good news is there is an easterly component to the movement. So it doesn't look like it's going to continue due north and right up into the coast, but it may continue to ride uncomfortably close to that coastline uh, for the next couple, several hours. In fact, bringing those incredibly strong winds up toward the Grand Strand over the next several hours. Right now it is at least moving and that's good news. Uh, but again, there's the indicator there 15 miles off the coast. Here's a look at those winds Again, I shared those gusts with you, um, the 78 mile per hour gusts, 74, those were you know, it, brief. These are ones that are happening a little more consistently, and that's at 64 miles per hour. So strong tropical storm force winds there, and it's constant at 45 in Charleston. Wind has been picking up across Myrtle Beach. Here's a look at the latest radars. The heavy rain is pushing on into the coast, and we have those flash flood warnings that continue for many areas uh, because of that incredibly heavy rainfall. In fact, flash flood warnings for areas around Charleston, a tornado warning just north of Wilmington, and that will be expiring at 1230. But it's those bands as they feed onto shore. There's a quite a bit of circulation, so we get that spin that's just enough for these brief, weak tornadoes. You know, normally, at least, they're not terribly destructive, but they're certainly dangerous enough. And you can see that circulation as we go through time. It will be just off the coast and then eventually moving into North Carolina. There's 9 p.m. tonight and then midnight, the worst of it beginning to shift out of South Carolina.